do 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 Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? Happy New Year. I hope everybody had a um, good New Year's Day, which was actually a f- couple days ago. And um, I don't know about you, but I'm glad that uh, 2021 is over with. Last year was kind of messed up for me, but I came out of it okay. Today, I wanted to do a quick video about creating um, unison singing parts in Synthesizer V. Now, the thing with unison um, parts is that you can't just duplicate a part because that's not going to do anything for you. Let me give you an example. I've got Synthesizer V open right here, and I've got a simple melody already created. Let's listen to that. I'm so happy because I found my doubt. Now, let's say you wanted to, um, say, double track your lead singer. Um, Or let's say you wanted to create backing vocals where everybody's singing the same part, which is unison, unison singing as opposed to harmony singing. Unison singing can create a very lush um, chorus effect. So I'm going to duplicate this track three times. We'll name this part one. And we'll name this part two. And for my melody, I have Mackie singing part one. Let's make Rika sing. And let's have Eleanor singing for the third part. Now listen to what it sounds like when all I did was just duplicate the part. I'm so happy because I found my dog. Now, as you can hear, you don't really notice anything, even though they are different singers, right? They're different parts, and you can hear it. By themselves. I'm so happy because I found my. I'm so happy. But when you put them all together, I'm so happy because I found my dog. All you notice is that the volume increased. That's it. In order for you to make a proper unison uh, backing vocals, um, you have to change the vocals so that they can be distinguished from each other. What I like to do is, because I have um, the AI, full version of the AI voice manics, I like to um, go ahead and um, apply the auto pitch tuning. For my main melody, I'm just gonna put the random seed zero. I don't even know if it really matters if I don't change the random seeds for each one of these singers. I kind of have a feeling that um, The auto pitch tuning is is going to be different simply because it's a different singer. But I'm going to go ahead and change the random seed anyway. So there's one part. And for Rika, we're going to go ahead and apply auto pitch again. I'm going to change the random seed to one. And for Eleanor, we'll do the same thing. And we'll change it to two for the random seed. Now, as you can see, the pitch curves are different for each one of these singers. So it's going to sound different, even though we haven't touched the note. I'm so happy because I found my dog. And right away, it sounds like three different people singing the same part, right? It's very clear that there's a difference. You hear that lush, coarse quality sound to it now. I'm so happy because I found my dog. The second thing that you can do is detune one or more of the voices. Don't detune it too much so that it's out of key, but I'm just going to shift this down just five cents. That will help distinguish the, the vocals from the other vocals. I'm so happy because I found my dog. 
Now, last, what I always like to do is I always adjust the note parts. Basically, I'm manually humanizing the part. I wish Synthesizer V had a button where you can say humanize it and then it'll change the length of the notes. Or maybe somebody can write a script to make it do that. Um, I'm too stupid to do that, so I don't know how. Uh, but it seemed like somebody could write a script that can change the lengths, but who knows. It used to be more of a pain to do it because you had to adjust each one of these notes because you couldn't overlap the notes. But with the most recent update, um, it automatically adjusts the length of the note uh, that's next to it if you um, move it. Uh, increase the length or shorten it. Like, see, you can see what I'm doing here. That's, that's so handy. So I'm going to change it here and maybe go back here. Change this one here. And length of this one. And then for this part, I'm going to change it in different spots. It's just sort of like randomly do my own thing here. And make her come early for this and maybe shorten this. Now we listen to this. I'm so happy because I found my dog. Because, you know, real humans aren't able to sing exactly the same note as their other, you know, co singers. It's just that's not what humans do. So if you're looking for a more realistic approach to creating unison parts and also harmony parts, just. Um, you should adjust the length of the notes. So I hope this uh, is helpful for you in creating your backing vocals, and uh, I'll see you next time.